Okay, so let's look at one last example of factoring using the long key method. Um, we're going to start by step one says look for a greatest common factor. So let's look at the numbers 12, 34, and 20. 12, 34, and 20, those all have a factor of 2 in common. So we know we can take a 2 out. Now let's take a look at the variables. This one has a y squared, this one has a y, but since this one doesn't have a y term, we know we can't take a y out. So I'm going to start this problem by factoring out a GCF. That's going to make things a lot easier for me. It's going to get it completely factored as well. So over here we have 12y squared divided by 2 is going to give us, 12 divided by 2 gives us a 6y squared. 34 divided by 2 is a positive 17, and then we bring that y down, and then 20 divided by 2 is a positive 10. So we took care of our first step up here, which was to look for a greatest common factor. Now we're on step 2, which is multiply a and c to get your key number. So take a look down here. You see I have a new a and c value. If we would have done long key up here, 12 times 20 is going to give us a huge key number, which is 240. So not only is this a good first step as far as factoring out, but it's going to also make this key number a lot more manageable. So 6 times 10, what is our key number? Our key number is going to be 60. And now what we want to do, so we found our key number, step three says go ahead and find factors of your key term that add to b. So we want this to add to 17. I'll make a note over here. So we want this to add to 17. And to save myself a little bit of time, I went ahead and I listed the factors all over here. So we have all of these. These are the positive factors, and these are the negative factors that all multiply up to 60. And now we want to find the ones that add to negative 17. So the ones that add to negative 17 are going to be, this is 61, this is 32, this is 23, 4 plus 15 is 19, 5 plus 12 is 17. So we can see that 5 and 12 are going to be our factors. So we found our factors that add to b. Step 4 says break up your middle bx term into the factors from step 3. So now what I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and I'm going to circle this 2 and we're going to leave it off to the side. I'm going to make sure I bring it down here in my final answer. And we are now just going to work with what's inside the parentheses. So let's zoom in on what we have over there and just work with this. So we are going to break this middle term up into our factors were 5 and 12. So this is going to be, we're going to have 6y squared. Now I'm going to break this middle term up into a positive 5y and a positive 12y, and then we have our plus 10 over here at the end. Just like the last two examples, you can see 15 plus 12 would give, be 17, so we're just breaking that up. And then if you take a look up here in step 5, it says step 5 is to use the factor by grouping technique. So I'm going to group my first two terms together, I'm going to group my second two terms together, Take a look at my first two terms. I have a 6y squared and a 5y, so we can see we can take out a y. Again, that's going to be like dividing each of these terms by y. Um, in the first one, 6y squared divided by y is just going to give us 6 and then y to the first power. Um, over here, 5y divided by y, those y's are going to cancel and we're just going to get a plus 5. Now in the second two terms, I've got a 12y and a 10. What's the biggest number I can take out of both of those? It would be a factor of 2. Can't take any variables about out because that 10 does not have a variable to factor out. Now again, that's like dividing each of these by 2. And that's going to leave me with 12y divided by 2 is 6y. And then a 10 divided by 2 is a 5. Okay, now going to our last step here, we can see that what's inside our parentheses match up. So these each have a 6y plus 5, so we write the 6y plus 5 out front. And what's left inside the parentheses when I divide each of these terms by 6y plus 5, divide this by 6y plus 5. In my first term over here, I'm just going to be left with a y. 
and over here in the second term, after these cancel out, I'm going to be left with a positive 2 over here. Now, that was me factoring just this top part. Don't forget, we factored a 2 back out at the beginning, so I'm going to make sure I carry that 2 down, and this is going to be the completely factored version of this polynomial.